US share markets have been on a good run over the past few weeks and have recently capped off four straight weeks of gains. However, they did fall a little bit flat over the past 24 hours, despite US airlines announcing several takeover offers, which are generally seen to be pretty good news for global shares. The global outlook is a little bit more uncertain at the moment, and this has played on investor minds. However, recently, economic reports out of the US have indicated an increase in capital investment spending and also growth in consumer spending. The Kiwi dollar remains strong against the US and on Tuesday morning is trading at 73.70 against the US dollar and at 46.40 against the Great British Pound. The long-term prospects for food production and agriculture do seem to be good and this is evident in the massive amount of activity we have seen from global companies over the past few months. Sinlay have announced that Bright Dairy have received overseas investment office approval to take a 51% stake in their Canterbury milk factory. Olam also announced over the past 24 hours that they have gathered up a 78% stake in New Zealand farming systems Uruguay. This indicates to me that the global players really do see good future in food production and they do want to be part of it. New Zealand is a big part of this equation. Olam and Louis Dreyfus Commodities have also indicated that they are looking to talk and also form a possible merger down the track. This would mean that they would gather up big economic scale and be a major player on the global marketplace. New Zealand lamb schedule prices have increased marginally over the past week and are hovering around $6 per kilo. It is interesting to note that UK farmers have seen prices decrease over the past few weeks but it does seem like supplies are relatively tight. Demand from the UK for the Christmas trade period is looking pretty strong and this should be good for us here in New Zealand. Over the past few weeks we have seen a massive storm through Southland and this has affected supplies for the coming season of lambs. This should be mildly positive for New Zealand lamb schedule prices in the year ahead, but it will do very little to those farmers that are most affected. Looking ahead for the season, we are still predicting that the New Zealand dollar will remain very strong against the pound. This will put a cap on prices in the year ahead. However, we are predicting prices for the 2011 season will be at or slightly higher than last year levels.